welcome to the inaugural episode of Galadon on Gaming, a special series where I will be taking a look at new mobile games, reviewing them, and playing them beyond the tutorial. So for our very first game, we've got Compass Point West, and right away, I knew this would be up my alley. I've always been fascinated by the Old West. And uh, my first impressions were the game is well finished, not only in the graphics, but the gameplay as well. The tutorial doesn't last too long, gets you right to playing the game. And right away you'll notice the game is very unique, but it also employs some elements from other games that you might be familiar with. So that does make things a little bit easier to learn early on. Now right in this very first battle that we're being led through, we see there's this deployment area. And the troops, the gunslingers there, are card based. And I've actually never played a card based game before. Uh, it was not what I expected. It is actually a lot of fun to work on upgrading those troops using the cards. Uh, it keeps you coming back and it also makes it easy for you to play the game for short periods of time which is important to me especially for a mobile game so you can play it on the run wherever you are and yes of course choosing a name let's go with Galadon and uh, we will settle our new town and as we can see right away uh, of course the game is free to play in-app purchases something we're familiar with as well and uh, so right away we see the build menu down on the bottom left and so resources will come in the form of uh, gold and goods. And uh, there is the prospector. There is the uh, prospector's cabin. So that's going to generate the gold. Then also we've got the saloon. And the saloon is where we're going to get our sidekicks, our troops, our cards that we will go to battle with both offensively and defensively. Now the courthouse is the heart and soul of our settlement. We've got to upgrade that courthouse in order to unlock and upgrade the other buildings. So now we go to the saloon, we get our first look at the card play portion of the game. You see we've got a basic silver and gold pack. Now the basic pack, we can open a new one, gives us random cards every two hours. Now there are free ways to reduce that waiting time. And we're going to be prompted to take the Jacob Ammon card first, which actually helps speed up building upgrades. So it cuts down on waiting times. We get two draws. Here comes the second draw. And this time we have a choice between William Wealth, looks like some sort of gold and we're going to take the gunslinger because we want to go out and attack right away. So at the bottom of the screen you can see it's an hour and 59 minutes until the next card draw but if we click on the lower left there those are the building and upgraded related cards. We can activate that Jacob Ammon card and you can see there goes the courthouse the improvements are done and now it looks like we're going to be introduced to our arch nemesis Mr. Driller, and uh, I imagine he may be a recurring theme. I see he's moving in with some units here, and uh, we've got to try to battle him. So we go back to the construction menu. We'll hire ourselves a deputy, place that deputy, and uh, he is going to help battle those guys, but apparently that is not enough. And uh, so we've got to have a camp, and a camp is where the rest of our troops will hang out. And again, it's got an effective radius, you can see. Build that first camp, and now our gunslingers can come out and help take down these uh, attackers. So obviously, defense is going to be a big portion of this game. We'll have to get into some strategy as far as placement of buildings, abilities, ranges, and that sort of thing. But for now, we've defeated the invaders. And uh, so the idea here is to keep upgrading those buildings, unlocking new buildings. And for that, we will need resources. Now, more than just what the farm and the gold mine are going to produce. So let's get out there and take some resources. Clicking on that map in the lower right corner, we can explore the west. And uh, you can see this map is huge. Look at this. As we zoom out and look around, there is an awful lot to be explored, to be unlocked. I'm sure at some point out there there is a pvp portion where we will be facing real world players but for now we are going to go try to take back this abandoned farm from drillers thugs and this will be our first offensive battle we have the familiar deployment zone where we drop the gunslingers and obviously that can control when and where uh, those units head in so as our gunslingers go in on the offense we zoom in and check out that very cool 3D effects. I really love that. It's not overwhelming, but it adds a great deal of depth to the game. And uh, so the gunslingers move in, get the enemy gunslingers out of the way. We're going to take that oil rig down. And with that, we have reclaimed this farm. 
Now we receive an immediate reward of gold and goods and a star. We reduce the time 20 minutes to the next card draw and now this farm will produce an income of 40 goods per hour that will be delivered back to our settlement. And so here we find out that the way to explore more of this frontier is with the Pony Express Rider and judging by the limited amount of real estate we can unlock right here, you can tell that there is a great deal left to explore. Now in this ghost town, you'll see it's a level three ghost town, so a little bit higher, but also it has a question mark. And that means if we're able to take this back, we will get an extra card as a reward. So again, the deployment area, and this time you can see we kind of have two options. We could deploy off to the left or off towards the right and uh, go by that shack Looks like there was a prospector out there to the left. So we will learn as we move forward that these enemies will have an aggro range. Watch as they turn red when they get close enough. There we go, two gunslingers moving in on our own forces. So we're gonna have to take those guys out. They are out of the way. Now we're gonna work on that shack. The other gunslinger still uh, too far to uh, aggro on our troops. Oh, cool animation as the building is just about to go down. There it goes. Now we move in towards the uh, oil rig. We'll have to take the other gunslinger out. That was quick work. And there they're working on the oil rig and the prospector <laughs> off to the left in the corner, kind of dancing on his own. So uh, it's probably best that we didn't aggravate him. And as the oil rig goes down, that is victory. We don't have to face any of the other units. 20 more minutes reduced from the time we have to wait for the next card draw. And here we go, the bonus card, and this time it's 500 goods. So you see it could have been a number of different things. That time we got 500 goods. Our goods and our gold are both full, so it is definitely time to go back and upgrade some of our structures. But first, we've got another deck that we can open because of the attacking, we've reduced that time. We can randomly choose from two more sets of three cards. We took a William Wealth and another Gunslinger. Now let's take a look at our Gunslingers by clicking on the image of the gun over the cards there towards the center of the bottom of the screen. This is how we upgrade. When you have four of any type of card, you can merge them. Now the first merge is free, so we'll, we will merge four regular Gunslingers and make a rugged Gunslinger. So there's regular, rugged, veteran, and notorious. And obviously each is gonna come with improved stats. The regular Gunslinger there, you can see when we look at a rugged Gunslinger, he's got more health and uh, more damage per second. So we're obviously going to wanna upgrade those guys as much as possible but we don't want to upgrade too many or we just won't have enough guys to fight with. So we'll stick with five regular and one rugged for now as we move forward in the game. So there you have it, the first look at Compass Point West in the first episode of Galadon on Gaming. I definitely think that Compass Point West is interesting enough, engaging and different from anything else that I've played that we are going to have to explore it more deeply in future episodes of Galadon on Gaming. Let me know what you guys thought. If you try the game out, let me know what you think as well. Also, recommend other games you'd like to see me try during this series, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galidon, I'm coming for you, partner.